So this is a video that I never imagined that I would be making or would have to make, but this is a pretty big thing if you own an RF mount camera or RFS mount camera. Essentially, what we have found out recently is that Canon is treating the RF mount and the RFS mount as a closed mount system. That means that they are not allowing third-party manufacturers to make lenses for RF mount and RFS mount cameras. Now, this is particularly important because it means that if Canon leaves any holes in the lineup, any lenses that you need that they don't make, there's going to be no opportunity for a third-party lens manufacturer to come in and fill those voids, like they have with the EF mount and like they have with the EFM mount. It also means once you buy that camera body and you're in that system and you're looking for what lenses to choose, Canon has a monopoly on the lenses that you can choose. So whatever price they set on that lens, that's the price you're paying. And because of that, I think if you are buying into the system and you don't know exactly what camera body, what lens you want up front, and that you can afford that complete package, if you're somebody that's buying in and it's new and figure you're going to find your way in video, find your way in photography, and eventually sort of add the lenses you need as you go, I can guarantee you're going to find that in this lineup, there are lenses missing that you want, and there are lenses that you want that you can't afford. That is an absolute promise. But I think we can change this if we put pressure on Canon. And what I want to encourage you to do is if you have any interest in seeing third-party lenses on this mount, I want you to go out on your social media and share hashtag HeyCanon and just tell them why you want to see third-party lenses on the mount. It might be hashtag HeyCanon, I love your ergonomics, but I believe in freedom of choice, or I can't afford your more expensive lenses, or I've always loved your cameras, but this is going too far. I think we just need to put this pressure on Canon. And we have seen them do some changes, particularly when they pulled sort of 24 frames per second out of a number of their cameras in the past to try to push people to buy their cinema cameras. There was such an uproar over it. It wasn't long and they changed it and they, with a firmware update, they put the 24 frames per second video in all of the cameras. So I think this is something we can change. And to be honest, I think if you are a new photographer, new videographer, and you're just getting into it, because of this closed mount system, if you're not sure where you want to go with it yet and you're sort of even on a bit of a budget, I think with this closed mount system, I am going to start steering people towards Sony or Fuji. As hard as it is for me as a Canon fanboy who has shot Canon for the past sort of 30 years, I really think those lenses with their open mount or those systems with their open mount, you've got so much more choice. You've got more affordable lenses. And I don't think Canon is going to come to the party unless we put an immense pressure on them. And they know that we're not going to buy their cameras unless they give the community what they really want. All right, that's all I've got to say on the subject. Go out there, post hashtag HeyCanon, let them know that we want third-party lenses on this mount.